morning how are we all doing today i am little wolf goat and welcome to doodle and chill oh, so this is where we spend a couple of hours working on our creative projects together and just having a chat about what's on our minds um yeah so today while i'm chatting i'm going to be continuing working on my jaguar portrait that i started the other day now i'm not sure how i feel about it or not i'm looking at it just now and i'm at the stage where i'm like oh i think i want to abandon it but i'm gonna stick with it because this is an experiment and i need to not be uptight about it just go with the flow, see what happens, learn some stuff. If I don't like it, that's fine. Not a problem. So this is an exercise in me learning not to be so uptight about my art, which is really difficult because I'm very uptight about my art and I'm trying to be a bit more loosey with it. Um, so that's what we're working on. I'm going to be chatting about, um, I think, I'm going to be chatting about some body issues I have today, so I'll try and do like content warnings and stuff when I start having that conversation, just in case you want to bow out, because um, I appreciate some people, it, it can be triggering for people, so I'll keep that in mind, um, but that'll be a wee while because we've got some levering about other stuff to do first. As always, you can share what you're working on, you can post links in the chat, or you can post them on my Discord. I will put a link to the Discord in the chat just now. Mm -hmm. Fabulous, the Nightbot is behaving itself today. Achilles, so let's get started on some art. So this is where we got to so far. Um, for those of you that are new, oh god, I maybe should have shown you this first. We're doing an updated version of this drawing I did, I think in 2012, I can't remember when. Rawr. So, yeah, that's the plan. But we're really trying to make it like its own thing as well. So, Let's get rid of some stuff first of all. So we started with uh, this, the sketch and the colouring and then some folks in chat, um, Onion and Erin, um, they suggested mucking about with underpaintings. So I thought I'd do a blue underpainting because blue's kind of opposite orange on the colour wheel. And then I thought, hmm, I'm going to erase some stuff from the top layer, um, the, the orange layer, so that the blue shines through. And I'm not sure if I like it or not, but I'm having fun with it. Um, and then just to make it easier to see what I'm doing, I put in a pink background. The background for this image may or not be pink at the end, I haven't decided yet. So, today I remembered on Friday to make a list of things I want to work on. So today we're going to be doing a dark outline and adding spots and rosettes. I've got other things to do as well, but those are the two things I'd like to get done today. So I'm going to pick some colours and get my brushes sorted and then I will start with my random bleverings. So let's, uh, first of all, let's change a brush. Oh God, what brush were we using? chat what brush we'll be using I forgot. Oh we're doing outlines we use a different brush for outlines anyway so that's fine. When we do outlines we always go back to our ultimate thick and thin because that's my favourite brush. Right you cool panic over. On the undercolour layer we're going to pick well it's dark outlines but we want it to Mm 
be dark if it popped a bit. I'm doing new layer as well. Layer new layer. Um, and I really need a bigger desk. Do I have space for all the things I want to do? Outline. Cool, cool, cool. Right. So. What does this colour look like? Switch back to brush. Helps from also on the right layer. Right, so I need to go back to layer, new layer. Outline. And then we need to remember to put the outline in the right place. Bring our sketch back in. Cool, so we're on the right layer now. Oh my goodness, right, we're getting somewhere. Mm. Now, like the outline and the um, spots, like obviously, should be dark. But I want them to be bright as well. Do you get what I mean? This tune, this tune always makes me think of Undertale. if they do go lighter. No, see, so we need to go darker. Right, okay. Decision made. Zoom in, view, zoom in. Cool. So it is Monday, my dudes, and Monday usually means D and D update. Um, didn't play D and D last night. Our uh, DM wasn't available, so we didn't play. Um, there was a. A discussion about um, doing a one shot. Oh, I don't like that. I want a thicker brush. That's better. Is it? Anyway. Um, but I was feeling a bit kind of crap. Oh yes. Oh, are you trying to find a colour that contrasts better against the background? Try setting the layer you're drawing on to multiply. Yeah, what is multiply? What is that? Yeah, what does it do? Should also say good morning or good evening. It'll be good evening for you, won't it? Yeah, good evening, Erin. Um, it literally multiplies the values of the layer to whatever's on the back. Yeah, good evening for me. It multiplies the values of the layer to whatever's on the back. I have no idea what that means. Um, 
what I'm trying to do is like the equivalent of a black outline. Um, like I usually do for my drawings, but I'm trying to do it in blue. So don't worry, I'll just go for it. You don't need to understand the details. Okay, that's fine. You don't need to understand the details, that's fine. Cool. Because like the orange is showing through. I don't want the orange to show through. That's annoying me. What's that? I don't want the underneath colours to show through. At least I don't think I want the underneath colours to show through. Do I want the underneath colours to show through? I don't know. Oh, a black outline, hmm, they maybe try darkening then. There's a lot of layer settings to try out. Oh, God, the darken setting. Ah, right, cool. Let's see what this does. Oh, it helps if I use an ink. So. See, that's still showing through that colour underneath. I don't like that. I'm trying to draw over. What else have we got? I dropped the colour that you see you want from... Oh no, I've already picked the colour I want. The colour I want is this colour. Which is now gone see through normal. See that's that's the colour I want. And then just continue to use the colour with the layer being normal. Yeah, cool, right. Okay, I think I think we understand each other now. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah. Monday mornings usually D and D, but we didn't play last night because DM wasn't available. There was a chance to play a one shot, but I wasn't really feeling it because ugh, I've just been really upset about my cat. Um, so uh, James, my cat, he has a tumor on his tum tum, um, which the vet wants to remove. Um, so he had to get some blood tests taken to see if that was okay. And he got his blood test back and his bloods are all within normal range, which is awesome. So Friday morning, he is going in to get the tumour removed. You got to have everyone together. Yeah, totally. Oh no, let's pray that'll be okay. I'm sure it'll it'll be it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, it'll be fine. So. So that happened last week. That was a bit of a shocker. I just took him in to get his vaccination. So. Um, yeah. So that was that. So there's no real... D, D game update. Um, there is D, D news though. I don't know how much I can talk about. It's my fucking pen. Oh my god, it's my fucking pen. Right. Okay. So for ages, my there's a, a f I don't. You can probably hear it on the stream. There's that noise of something disconnecting and reconnecting. 
and I've been trying to figure out what it is for ages and some of it was um like I've got hundreds of USB devices not a lot of ports right so my partner got me some more proper ports into my computer so that's helped with a lot of the issues but there was still something that kept switching on and off and I think it's my pen I think it's my pen disconnecting and reconnecting to the tablet god damn it oh oh my god right okay I'll keep an eye on the little the thing on the bottom right of my toolbar that must be annoying it's it's not oh, annoying is not the right word it's just like I just wanted to know what it was and now I think I know what it is and now that I know what it is I feel a bit calmer about it but that's fine anyways continuing on with D&D news I don't know how much I can say but we'll find out um there is a women's only not women's only but it's women's led um D D podcast that's coming out soon. It's based primarily in Glasgow. Um but there's folk from Edinburgh and other folk from across the UK. And I'm potentially gonna be one of the hosts for it. Um, depending how our uh, uh, job interview goes. Hey Jim, how you doing? Um, so depending on how that goes. So the job interview, we're doing a couple of one-shots. They're going to be recorded and broadcast um, and to see how the audience responds to everybody. So I'm not sure how good I'm going to be at it because... As you can probably tell from my uh, Twitch streams, I'm not the most kind of confident host person. But I'm hoping when I play D&D that'll be a bit different. Okay, I need to fix that ear a bit. That's okay, Vio. Zoom in, view, zoom in. Right, let's get this here. Okay. Sorted. So that's kind of, I think it's kind of cool anyway. I mean, if you're not interested in D&D, you're probably not interested in that. But, but that's kind of a good bit of news. Oh, do you guys know each other? Bobby's just met. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's pretty cool that there's a community on... Uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? We're on at Twitch. Oh my god, my brain doesn't work. Jaguar eyes me to return to our trusty friend Google Images. Nope, just saying hi. <laughs> I love how pretty friendly everybody is here. I really like it. So we'll bring this down to 25. Next, I'll be a bit too big. I'll put in white highlights later, so that eye's probably going to look a bit flat just now. How's my cat? He he is fine. Like generally, he's still eating and stuff, and he's still getting in the way and making a mess and like being his usual self so we got the results of the blood test back and his bloods are fine so it's okay for him to get anesthetized so he's going in for surgery on friday morning to get his lump removed and then they'll do like a biopsy to find out what it is so thanks for asking 
But yeah, he he's fine. Like I don't think he really knows what's going on. He's his usual usual annoying self. I love him, but oh my god, he's annoying. Um. Yeah. So I was kind of really worried over the weekend, but like now there's like a plan in place, so we know what's happening. Um, I don't feel quite so stressed about it. Oh, hold on a second. Which one, Lucy? Yeah. Uh, she has not been fed this morning, so she has not been fed, no. Um, you need to open a new box of cat food because I used up the last of the Purina, but that's fine. She's just put the Purina anyway. Yeah. Okay? okay? Cool. Just discussing with the other half, whether or not Lucy or other cat needs fed. Um, because James, the cat who's sick, um, the cat who's sick, the cat who has a tumour, he is a greedy wee bastard. And he just eats and eats and eats and you, you can't stop him, basically. It's, like, nigh impossible. He will, like, break into, like, food cupboards and stuff. It's just absolutely crazy. Um, so... So anyways, like James, uh, my partner was just checking to see if Lucy, our other cat, who is very sensible and only asks for food when she wants it, if she was needing fed, if she doesn't come downstairs in the morning for food, she likes to have a lie in. Which I can totally get behind. Right. You fit on screen. Uh, no, not fit on screen. You silly goose, zoom in. Um, so yeah, so he's like they're all. Uh, he's he's happy and he's living his best life. It's what you can all. It's really what you can own. It's really all you can ask for when it comes to having your companion animals, isn't it? Is he living his best life? Yes. I need to remember to do the most pink. So, yeah. Cool. Right, I don't really want to overdo it with that. So, next up, I want to do rosettes. Uh, new flare. So what I want to chat about this morning, what's on my mind? So I'm having a kind of... I'm going to do a content warning for this bit because some people don't like talking about it. But I'm having a kind of difficult body image morning today. I think I want to put the layer between under colours and work. Right, so view... Oh no, I've already created the layer Emma, oh my god, pay attention. So I think I want to do the layer here. Uh, 
No, hang on, that's not going to work. Alright, let's have a thing. Edit under. So I want to do it there. This might be like where I need to use one of these like multiply you, you, what you were talking about earlier, uh, Aaron. Um, no, not quite. Okay, I don't think that's going to work. Hmm. What if... Right, okay, I'm going to make a copy of this layer so I don't fuck it up. Um, layer. Duplicate layer. Right, so we'll work on the copy and not the original. So what we'll do is copy and then we will do a layer lock, I think. That's what we want to do. Right, that's what I'm wanting to do. Edit, undo. Oh, God, we're getting there. We're getting there, friends. I'm learning bits about Photoshop as we go. Learning as we go. And I don't want to use this brush. I want to use whatever the brush was I was using. Oh, it must have been a go go gouache, gouache, whatever it's called, brush. The white gouache player. Mm. Loving kid was. So it wasn't layer bristles either. Was it gouache bonus gritty? Was it? It might have been, but I don't like how that looks now. So anyways, right, I'm going to talk about my body image. So I am non-binary. Um, biologically, I'm a woman and that I have a vagina and boobs and all those things. Um, and most of the time that's fine. I'm comfortable with that. But on days like today, it's it makes me quite unhappy. So I'm currently I'm wearing a I'm wearing a binder today so my boobs aren't sticking out quite so much, which does help and like I'm wearing baggy combat trousers and things to hide my body behind and it helps as well. And I know it's only temporary and I know in like even in a few hours I'll be back to being happy with the body I have. Um but right now it's tough. Um, yeah, we'll use this one. All oh, right, I took the lock off, that's why it's doing that. Edit under brush, edit under brush, edit under brush. Let's just control Z this bitch. Um, so yeah, so between that and the fact that I have gained a lot of weight recent, or not recently, I've gained a lot of weight over the past, if I'm honest, seven years. And like, yeah, like being fat's fine, it's not a criticism of you as a person, but it feels really uncomfortable, like I feel my insides being crushed. And the problem is I just eat junk, like constantly. I'm a bit of a kind of grazer, especially when I'm bored or sad, which is a lot of the time, especially during a pandemic. It's just how it is sometimes, yeah, totally. So I'm not having a great day in terms of that. But I'm sure it'll be fine. It will work itself out, it always does. So, working on the right layer. Da, 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 da. Ok, 
true, right? Um, the uh, zoom in. So that's kind of where I am today. What else? What else is happening? I had, uh, I lost my cool with someone on Facebook this morning as well. Never check Facebook first thing in the morning. Um, it was just someone who's really tedious. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just so bored of the conversation that they're having. Oh, that's the underlayer. Hang on, my under colours. So anyways, I basically said I am not interested in this conversation that we're having. It is boring and pointless. Um, oh, okay, there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on behind it. Like, there's a lot of issues there with the person. Um, so I, I try to be patient with them. But... It's like, Jesus Christ, there's only so much nonsense I can tolerate. And it's Monday morning, I really don't care. They're obsessed with a particular film. And, like, pretty much their entire life is based around this film. Which I think is a bit unhealthy. Which actually reminds me, we'll talk about something else. I watched... Um, a glitch in the matrix on saturday morning i think it was might have been sunday could have been saturday i don't know time is a flat circle anyways i watched it and i was really excited about it because loads of people are like oh my god it's amazing and there's like a real twist at the end and all that kind of stuff and i thought excellent my kind of documentary because i do like watching a documentary and i watched it and it's a, it's supposed to be about simulation theory right not something i know a lot about so i thought excellent i shall learn something um i didn't really go into that much detail about simulation theory um i mean you could learn more just by reading a wikipedia article i'm sure uh anyways so we so i was watching it and Look, is anybody okay with spoilers? I'm going to spoil the glitch in the Matrix. It'll probably take me less than 30 seconds to do it, but I'm going to spoil it. So this is your your five-second warning. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, so the big the big twist in this story is um, that... A guy who was obsessed with the Matrix um, shot his parents because he was convinced that he lived in... Oh no, I don't like that at all. What the hell's going on there? That's crap. Oh no, we don't want that. Edit. Oh no, no, no. So that was a big twist was that, oh my god, this guy who was absolutely obsessed with the Matrix and didn't think we lived in a real place, um, he went and shot his parents, right? And it was pretty brutal, and I think he understands it, that it was brutal. But I don't really see how that's relevant to simulation theory. Um, this was a, a guy who was apparently abused, um, who had undiagnosed and untreated mental health issues who thought that the world around him wasn't real because he became obsessed with a film which happened to be The Matrix, right? Um, which in itself, that is very interesting. That is a very interesting topic. But I don't see how that ties in with the actual science of simulation theory or the philosophy of simulation theory. They're two separate things and they shouldn't have been in the same documentary. Or at least that this guy, um, this guy who murdered his parents, maybe could have been a footnote in the documentary. But he didn't go and murder his parents because he wanted to 
he had a scientific hypothesis that he wanted to test out. He did it because <laughs> because he was really unwell. You know, it's not the same thing. So I got really mad, to be honest. I was really disappointed in this documentary. It's like, oh my God, don't, don't even bother with it, seriously. Just don't. I'm trying to find a brush that I want to use. That's not it. Not round up. I wish I was better at remembering my brushes. Right. So it's not that. Is it this one? Is this one I want to use? I'm on the right layer. Yes. Right. Finally, we found it. We found it, gamers. So, yeah, Glitch in the Matrix. I mean, like, if you are interested in simulation theory, yeah, whatever, watch it, but do not expect anything overly interesting to happen out of it. And I'm really glad I downloaded it instead of paying Amazon to rent it because it really wasn't worth it. And I would have been mad if I paid 3 99 to watch it. It was pish. Um... <laughs> don't at me, I will fight you in the car park if you think that was a good documentary. Right, instead of actually scrolling backwards and forwards and ranting about things, and like, I don't even know a lot about, like, I wanted to learn because it's kind of like, I know of simulation theory but I don't actually know that much about it and I was kind of like, hoping I would learn something but I didn't really learn anything So yeah, it was a very disappointing way to spend an afternoon. I wish I'd watched the, the Mormon one, Murder with the Mormons. It's on Netflix. I wish I'd watched that instead. Because so. my concentration span's not that good this way ever. Like, my brain is like utter mince at the moment. Um, I think it's because I'm a fibromyalgia, like I've got brain fog, I just can't concentrate that much. So I'm really mad that what little concentration span I had was wasted on this pish documentary. I will die mad about it. I won't die mad about it. I'm going to die mad about Game of Thrones, that's what I'm going to die mad about. It's not even 11 o'clock and my tummy is rumbling. I don't even think I've got any kind of snacky things I can eat just now. Uh oh, got to get your nom noms. Yeah, I need to find something. Like the only kind of nom noms I have are biscuits and like when I was talking earlier about how I'm unhappy about how fat I am, I'm like, oh god, I can't really go eat biscuits just now, can I? Um, I'll have something sensible for my lunch, but that's a few hours away. <laughs> so, that was me. <laughs> this documentary was pish. And like, oh, I just didn't really get a better understanding of simulation theory at all. And they tried to explain how likely it is that we live in a simulation rather than living in an original world but I didn't really understand the logic of it 
um, and they, I think they try to explain about why simulations happen. But I didn't really understand that either, and that's probably more to do with the fact that I'm not that bright. Um, and that's okay as well, I know everyone can be Stephen Hawking or Elon Musk. I hate Elon Musk, I shouldn't have said Elon Musk. Who the hell would want to be Elon Musk? The man's a wanker. Hot take. We do not stand Elon Musk in this channel. God, Ugh. it's not even 11 o'clock and I'm yawning my head off, this is ridiculous, I think today might be a coffee day, I don't usually drink coffee but I think I need coffee. Coffee is pretty neat. Yeah, it's only like in the past, it would, about six months before lockdown, so it was actually like a year, two years ago, um, that's when I first started drinking coffee. A friend got me a latte and like I drank it to be polite and like I didn't like it. But then, <laughs> like I didn't like it, but then the next time I went to a coffee shop and ordered a latte and then I drank it and I didn't like it. And like, I don't even know if I like coffee, I just drink it because I like how it makes me feel afterwards. Have you tried stuff like mocha? Yeah, I did try a mocha, yeah. I quite enjoyed that, but it's usually just a latte order. Um, oh god, I can't remember the last time I had a latte, I haven't been outside for ages. Hoping things will open up here soon, but who knows. It was a bit wild last night, actually, um, in Glasgow, which is near where I stay, um, there are two football teams who perpetually argue with each other about tedious stuff. Uh, it's all tied in with religion. One football team's a Protestant and one's Catholic and it's like it's all kind of rooted in this kind of bigotry and stuff. Anyways, the Prodi Protestant team won something yesterday whatever, they won a football thing, go them and instead of staying at home quietly with families to celebrate a whole bunch of them went out into the streets um, getting drunk setting off fireworks and generally making the place unsafe for everyone else because the fans of this football team are horrible to anyone who isn't one of them. And they will tell you that they're not. They will tell you that they are lovely and tolerant people. They aren't. Um, so, yeah, it was pretty wild um, yesterday. So, because of that, lockdown's probably going to keep going for a bit longer. And I am very, very angry about it. So, yeah. The UK is just, however they've ha ha look, I don't know how a government can fuck up the COVID lockdown as much as our government, but here we are. I mean, the Scottish government's not been as bad as the UK government, but still not great. You know, like, if we compare ourselves to how, like, Australia and New Zealand are doing, which are, like, massive islands compared to the UK, 
Yuki's tiny. Yuki's just a little speck. It's like a pimple on the arse of planet Earth. Um, and we've still fucked it up and we're still in our houses a year on. It's been a real hard time. Yeah, it's been horrible for everyone. I mean, like, I, at the start, I was fine because I'm... Because of my fibromyalgia, my mental health issues and all that kind of stuff, I don't leave the house that often. And I'm also an introvert, so I don't need to be around people that much. Um, I actually feel happier on my own a lot of the time. But it's a year now, and even I'm struggling. Like, I have... Some of you probably have it. Like, I use the app TimeHop on my phone and it, like, brings up your social media posts and your photographs and stuff from today, years ago. You know what I mean? And this time last year, I was at a gig and I stayed out in a hotel. I was out with my boyfriend, out of the house in Glasgow. We had a great time. The band was called Tragedy. They are they originally started as a metal Bee Gees cover band, but they do all sorts of stuff now, and they're absolutely amazing. And the lead singer came off the stage and he touched my face and he stared into my eyes. It was a very romantic connection. Um, yeah. And like that was a year ago. You know, I can't believe it's been a year. Like, and I don't go to a lot of gigs. Like, I don't like standing at gigs. It hurts my joints. It makes me grumpy. Um, so, I'm missing gigs. After the gig, we went to a local fish and chip shop that does vegan stuff. So I had a vegan sausage supper. I don't know if you're familiar with the concept of the, the supper in Scotland is basically whatever the, the meat or the fake meat is and you deep fry it in batter and you have it with chips. So I had a vegan sausage supper. So it was two sausages, deep fat fried in batter with a big portion of chips. And we went to our fancy hotel room with this junk food and we sat and it was really nice after going to the gig. And now we're still at home gigs that my partner's booked for us have been rescheduled and cancelled and yeah it's just crap I know it's like total first world problems oh boohoo I can't go to a gig oh no but stand by it stand by it oh my pen's making a weird squeaky noise on the tablet oh Ooh, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I don't think I like that. Oh. I don't know how rough I should make these spots or if I should kind of smooth them out a bit. That's a decision for another day. Today we'll just put them. We'll just put them in place. We'll, as long as we go with the third direction, I think we'll be okay. Oh, that squeaky sound! Oh no! I don't know if the microphone's picking that up. I've got my pens making a weird squeaky sound on my tablet. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, it's like nails on chalkboard. It's like nails on a chalkboard. Ooh. Yeah, it's probably wearing away the pen nib. Ah, I do have some spare pen nibs kicking about. I'll wait until it stops working entirely before I replace them. Mostly because I can't remember where I kept the pen nibs. I've got them somewhere. Some are safe, so I'll never find them. Because that's how safe it is.
So how was your stream, Erin? What were you up to today? Were you gaming or uh, drawing today? Okay, no, edit undo. <laughs> I forgot I was doing it on this. <laughs> edit undo. Okay, we're getting control Z. Oh, this camera. Oh, 
Excuse me. Excuse me, friends. We are on a tea line. Oh, no. Oh no, hey. Hey, you know, that's starting to look pretty cool. Wasn't sure. Oh, when I started this this morning, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know how this is going to work out, but I'm kind of I'm vibing it now. I'm vibing it now, friends. That's... Let's look for some reference pictures of Jaguar's necks. No, I'm not interested in cars, good god. Cat. Cat. Jaguar cat. Jaguar cat. Let me see your necks. I want to look at your beautiful necks. No, it's not big. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a good one. So a Jaguar yawning. It's also not big. What's going on here? Has my tool settings reset? Oh, for good sake. Google. That's bare. Hey Google, sort yourself out. Jaguars are absolutely gorgeous though. Like they look like they will fuck you up. Let me see your lashes next. So that I do your justice in my picture. Okay, Google search has gone on a bit too long. I'm starting to get into the furry territory. And you know what? I'm a furry, that's totally fine, but I don't really want to be looking at furry archers. Not why I am here. Not why I am here. Not today. I'm actually wondering if I could look for like Google Jaguar neck and it would actually show me stuff. Oh, someone's made a Jaguar Minecraft, that's pretty cool. Sorry, if I was more organised I would have done this off stream, then you wouldn't have to look at me looking at Google. Do, 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 do. I typed in Jaguar Net. Oh, it's showing me guitars. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm getting some cool neck tattoos with Jaguars on them. That's a leopard, not a Jaguar. Good God, even I can tell you that and I'm not a cat scientist. That's so hard. Right. Okay. Enough reference pictures. That's fine. Got enough to look at. 
we're fine. We're fine. Okay, that was an absolutely riveting five minutes of stream time. Excellent. Right. So I've got the ear. And we've got the right hand. So, oh, actually, I'm going to save this just now. File. File, not edit your tool. Right, save. Cool. Bitty bigger because we're doing wee bitty bigger things. I'm going to put spots in the middle of these so I know they're rosettes, but I'm going to end up painting over them anyway, so it's fine. Everything's fine. Right. So, you know, I had a list of things I wanted to chat about this morning, but I've completely forgotten. So, can't be that important. If it's important, it'll pop back into my brain, I'm sure.
welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry, it's a bit quiet this morning, my dudes. Um, a bit low energy today, but welcome aboard. For those of you that are new, my name's Emma, or the Little Wolf Goat, and I do digital art. And today I'm working on a Jaguar portrait. Um, the colour, ideas and style are courtesy of Erin, who's in the chat. Um, it's underscore Erinian Free. You'll probably say hi. Yeah, I'll say welcome to everybody. And from Very Own Onion Pancake. So it was their kind of ideas and inspiration that got me this kind of colouring and style. Good morning or good evening, Onion Pancake. Let me guess, all you guys should be in your beds. I'm guessing it's about 2 or 3 a.m. for you guys. Oh, you get to see my new welcome message as well. Greetings, Coralia. Greetings, comrade. Welcome to Little Wolfington, our anarcho-socialist paradise here on <laughs> Twitch. Welcome aboard. Hi there. We've got the comrade in it too. Yeah, totally. I just went for it, man. I thought it would be quite funny to put it in my welcome message. Comrade! <laughs> Greetings. Glory greatest little Wolfington. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, welcome aboard. Um, so, it's kind of, it's very... It's kind of low vibey today. Um, for those of you who don't follow me on social media, which is most of you, um, yeah, my one of my cats, James, who's a tuxedo cat, he's a big fat bomb bottle. Oh, good night, onion pancake. Go to bed, rest well, sweet dreams. Mwah. Thank you for bringing people in. I really appreciate it. Um, so what was I saying? What was I saying? James, yep. So my cat James, who's a big fat furry bowling ball, he's a tuxedo cat. Um, he unfortunately, when we took him to the vet the other day for his annual vaccinations, uh, it turns out he has a wee tumour on his tum tum. So we had a wee bit of a kind of stressful weekend. Um, he had blood tests taken. Um. And his bloods are fine, which means it's safe for him to go into surgery. Greetings, comrade Avior. Glory greatest, little Wolfington. <laughs> Your art style is so pretty. I appreciate that. That's really sweet of you to say. But this particular like colour scheme and all that is an experiment thanks to... It's Erin and our very own Onion Pancake. They kind of suggested the kind of the colours and like doing underpaintings and stuff. So it's really down to them. So credit where credit is due. So yeah. Anyway, so my cat he has a wee tumour on his tum tum. Um. Anyway, so the the blood test came back okay. So it's safe for him to get surgery. So he's going in on a. Uh, Friday morning to get some surgery, get his tumour removed, and then they will do a biopsy to see what it is. Hopefully it's nothing too serious, but you never know. So so he's okay, he's fine, like it's not affecting his health or anything like that. He's still a greedy wee bastard and he still trips you up at the top of the stairs and like is a cuddle monster, he likes to sit on your lap and pour and cuddle in and stuff like that. So he's fine. I mean, he's in that regard, he's fine. And I've always been told that when tumours grow outwards, because it's an outward growing tumour, it's generally better than the tumour growing inwards. So, you know, so there's that, you know. Um, if he comes into the room, I'll pick him up and show you to him, but he's probably... What is he actually? can't see him. He usually sleeps at the top of the stairs outside the office. Um, so so that today's kind of low energy, um, kind of because of that, because my mood's a bit kind of funny. But uh, this is a kind of... We kind of chill out. I like people to kind of draw along 
like it's kind of creative thing so if you're working on any creative stuff feel free to share it in the chat links or you can post links don't abuse it you can post links um what else do i need to tell you uh this is also like a it's just chatting slash ask me anything kind of chat so just go for it um the the general rule is don't be a dick you know, it's kind of like if you're if you're not a dick we're all cool best wishes to cuddle monster oh thank you very much that's really sweet i'll be picking them up and giving them loads of cuddles once my stream's finished um probably because i wouldn't have a choice he doesn't really give you a choice when it comes to doing cuddles <laughs> you don't get much of a choice right okay i think that's enough of the rosettes so next all right so we'll save that file save kill so the rosettes are the inside of the rosettes are a slightly lighter colour what do you look like greetings comrade of rose corps welcome to little wolfington our anarcho-communist paradise glory greatest let's have a look at what it's okay if i click the link show on stream coralia would you rather i didn't show it on stream most people have already seen it okay that's cool oh wow Oh, it's a witch. Very cool. I'm a pagan, so I'm totally down for that. Yeah, the colours you've picked for it are fantastic. Oh, nice. That's very awesome. Very cool. So this is Coralia, who's in the chat. If you want to follow her, go for it. Cause, or, sorry, I assumed your gender. I apologise. It's from the weekly prompt thing. So thanks doesn't really belong to me. So I shouldn't really assume genders because I don't like it when people assume mine. I apologise for that. Um, yeah. So that's very cool. Very cool. Why is that multiplying? That's weird. Okay, right. It's fine. Stop stressing, Emma. Stop stressing. Right, how do we look? Yeah, we'll go for that for the inside of the rosette, I think. That bookshelf is taking years off my life. <laughs> Oh, totally manly. I can't do art like that at all. It really stresses me out. I just do animal portraits. I'm a girl, don't worry. Cool. Okay, cool. Um, for those of you new here as well, I prefer they, them pronouns, but I'm okay with she because I tend to present as female. Um, I'm a girl, don't worry. Cool. Yeah, so Coralia is... That's pretty cool art, by the way. Keep on top of her. Um... If any of you stream, let me know as well because I'm always looking for streamers to follow. Um, just say in chat, and then once I've finished streaming, I'll go back through the chat logs and I'll see what you're.
Don't change. <laughs> you know, stop being a lazy asshole and learn. It's not difficult. It's always super wholesome to see this bit. Yeah, totally, you know, it's like... What harm does it do to respect someone's pronouns? None whatsoever. You know, and if you make a mistake, you just say, oh, I'm sorry, and then you move on from it. Um, that's fine. I mean, I'm generally pretty relaxed about my pronouns because... Because I'm non-binary and because I'm just so used to being referred to as a she, it's it's like it doesn't. But I I rather fight for people who who find being referred. Uh, I'm trying to think the best way of saying it. I would I would rather use my energy to fight for people who need the correct pronouns, like people who get um triggered or upset or really causes harm like emotionally if if they get referred to by the wrong pronouns you know um i've said it once and i'll say it again i love the art community here it's always so wholesome over here do you know what it is actually like everybody i've met i've only been streaming since the last week of december i think it was and like everybody I've met is so cool and so wholesome and it's really nice just hanging out in streams. And like I don't always chat in streams, sometimes I just go and hang out and it's just always really nice. So yeah, it's very good. Yeah, so AVR, cool, I stream mostly art and some games occasionally. Cool, I'll be clicking on that link once I've finished this stream. Um, I'll be finishing up in about 40 minutes or so I think um, finish up at high noon I better zoom in for this one and make my brush a bit smaller you uh, zoom in you zoom in I'm going to make the brush a bit bigger that's a wee bit too small Emma come on Get somewhere, kids. Right, so we'll let you disappear just now. We'll break out the always or and work on under colour there. Um, view Emma, if you not edit views, and then yeah, so. I am not a digital artist by trade, <laughs> by trade, not digital artist by trade. Um, I usually, I used to do like acrylics and watercolours, but I switched to digital art last year um, for various reasons. So I don't actually know how to use Photoshop, I'm learning. Um, Onion Pancake and Erin have been really helpful, giving me bits of advice and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, so, always open for learning. So, I like learning, but I don't like being told what to do. You know, do you know the difference between that? Yeah, it's kind of like, oh yeah, that's a nice idea, versus I'm not doing that, I don't want to do it, I want to do it this way. So. So I'm still very much learning. If I could, I would love to go back to college and learn about digital art and illustration properly. That's kind of like a, a goal. What's happening? Not a lot's happening in chat, cool. So, yeah. And then as we were saying, everybody I've met has been really nice and really wholesome. 
Um, I had this really nice guy pop in. It must have been a couple of weeks ago now. He's not a, he didn't subscribe. Um, but that's fine. Not, not subscribe. He didn't thingy. Um, anyways, right. And we came in and we had a really nice chat. And he was here to learn uh, English. He pops into English uh, streams to practice his English. And it was really cool. Um, he kind of struggled a bit with my accent because my accent's quite broad. In case you haven't noticed, I'm Scottish. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so we had a wee bit of struggle with that. But yeah, it was really cool. And that was just really nice. Like you just chatting with people from all over the world about all, all, all sorts of stuff. It's really cool. I love it here on Twitch. I'm so glad I came here. You can also take art classes or Skillshare classes. I found those help me a lot. Yeah, I started. Um, oh, it helps if I'm on the right layer. Okay, I'll hold on a second. Stephen, are you able to get that? Cool. Um, somebody's just chapped on the door. Okay, Erin, you've helped loads. You've been a star, so you have. Yeah, I started a course on Domestica, which is like Portuguese language, but it has subtitles, and it's been pretty good. But I'm also incredibly lazy. Ah, uh, hang on, that's the underpainting. Isn't it? No, hang on, because that should be. Oh, I need to unlock it. That's what I need to do. There we go. That's it. We've got it now. We know what we're doing now. So I started doing that, which was pretty good. It's really nice. And like, there's so much stuff on YouTube as well to learn things. This leopard just keeps getting more and more pretty. Oh, thank you, Rose. That's really sweet of you. Um, said it's quite different from my usual art style. Well, not overly different from my usual art style. But it's just... Um, trying to experiment and be a bit more kind of loose with my paintings like a lot of my drawings are very much it has to be as accurate as possible and like I clench a lot when I'm drawing and I'm trying to kind of relax a bit and not be like that it was really difficult so I'm trying to be a bit more loosey goosey and learn more about colour. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think it's a mood. I'm pretty lazy too. I think something we all have in common, I think, is, yeah. Oh, totally being lazy. Yeah, man. I'm like really lazy when it comes to things. That's why I started streaming on Twitch. It's kind of like you guys are like my accountability partners. You know, it kind of makes me show up and do art for a couple hours each day. Because as much as I want to do art, I will procrastinate on it till the cows come home. Uh, anyways, so because I'm a painter... Um, with like traditional media you'll see that a lot of the way I treat Photoshop is the same way I would treat a canvas and like I know that there's an easier way to do things but I've just got into the habit of doing things kind of like my way and it works so it's kind of like finding a balance between learning new things and doing things the way that you find easy and comfortable to do Um, one of my favourite topics when I'm here is to bitch about art school by the way I went to art school and I hated it um, so you might hear me bitch about that a fair bit let's see the owl you drew below is so pretty do it. oh thank you that was the, the last thing I did my owl yeah it was a reworking of an older drawing that I did um, so right 
So Rosette layer, we can delete because we're not using you. Right, sketch. I think you can go into archive in a minute. Alright, sketch can go into archive. Keeping outline, keeping work copy because we're using that work. We're not working on this layer, so it can go into archive just now. Under colors, main painting copy. You on an outline, okay. So we can raise you to your outlay. Cool, cool, cool. Right, so let's have a look at my to do list. So we've done the dark outline. I love that for you that usually make art more iconic, actually. Oh, thank you. You are all so lovely. Oh. Everybody's so nice. Why are you all so nice? Why are you all so lovely? Okay, so next up is the eye. Now, I want to do the eye, I think, below work but above under colours. So, layer, new, layer. Mm -hmm. bop, bop, bop. So love you. Zoom in, view, zoom in, view, zoom in. <coughs> Pardon me. I've not even had any fizzy juice this morning. Crazy, right. So the eye is kind of like a richer version of this. So let's pick. So we'll go for this colour. That will be our start colour. No. Hmm. Edit. Undo. So if we do work copy, what we do? Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is risky business. But we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna erase you. We can redo these lines afterwards. Well, then be careful. I don't have to be careful. That's on a separate layer. I am absolutely terrible at forgetting what layers I'm working on. It's it's crazy, but we'll get there in the end. Is this gonna work? Yeah, it's gonna work. Yeah, yeah, Usually on Mondays I talk a lot about Dungeons and Dragons because I play D D on Sunday nights, but we didn't play last night, so there's not. I colour on one layer because that started out with watercolour my art, so I'll stand where you want to stick to what you need. Yeah, totally. I have to get going so I can make breakfast in a bit. See you guys later. Oh, bye, Rose. Oh, it's morning for you as well. Awesome. Cool. Good. Well, enjoy your breakfast. See you later. It was good to meet you. Welcome back to Little Wolfington at any time, comrade. <laughs> Enjoy your breakfast. Do you know, I might have something nice for breakfast, actually. I might go and get some rolls and have some veggie bacon. I think I 
think, I think, I think. Not really sure if I'm going to put that in. And then I'll get my smudged. Oh, good God, that's huge. We don't need that. Well, friends, you just finished your dinner. Oh, where are you all from then? So, I'll start. My name's Emma. I'm from Glasgow in Scotland. It's coming up for half, it's half 11 just now. So I'm thinking about my lunch, even though I haven't had my breakfast yet. Do you hate it when you're in like like team building exercises and you have to you have to introduce yourself and you have to answer a stupid question like an, an icebreaker question? Jeez Louise. Yeah man. Oh god almighty, I do not miss working in an office, I can tell you that. I can tell you that much. have to work on the outline later for this. dad bring up to my room because he knows I was drawing. Oh, that's sweet. Your dad's lovely. Oh. I'm from the Philippines in Southeast Asia. Oh. And he bears London, UK. 100% thinking about lunch right now too. I've been up and have been since I woke up. <laughs> I love icebreakers because I love talking. <laughs> Do you know what? Actually, it's really funny. Like, at the start of lockdown, I was very much an introvert, but see now, like, although I can't see people as much as I want to, I feel I've become a lot more um, comfortable chatting with people. Um, I think that's also partly because of, uh, like, the streaming helps. Like, I'm, I'm not shy. Like, I'm not, I'm not shy, but I am naturally a quiet person. So it's kind of hard for me to, like, start a conversation or anything like that, you know. I'm more of a, I prefer listening. I love it when people talk about things they're passionate about. That's kind of more, more what I am. Alright, so I'll do another layer here. Layer, new layer. Booper, because it's the nose, and we like to boop snoots. I've never met a person who doesn't like to boop a snoot. Oh, booping snoots. That's another thing about lockdown that I miss. 
I absolutely, oh my god, I can't believe, I absolutely love petting dogs. Dogs are the best. I love giving them tummy rubs and like rubbing their ears and going, who's a good boy? Right, and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely love it. So I'm a nightmare to go outside with at normal times because like every time I see a dog, I have to go up and say to the owner, can I pet your dog? Um. Anyways, so since lockdown has been happening, I've not been able to pet dogs and it makes me really sad because I really like pet dogs. Oh my god, I can't believe how ridiculous that sounds. It's why I want to start streaming but I don't have a computer. Oh, honestly, see when you start streaming, let me know. You know, like I just started in December. Um, so it's really good. I love it. I think we need to raise a bit of this first. I need to raise a bit of this one first. Do we? Yeah, working on Bipper. Yeah, we need to raise this first. Right, okay. I know what I'm doing now, it's fine. We're back on Booper. Oh no, use the right thing, you silly guess. Right, pink. There we go. serious pet deficiency I know I'm missing like is there a supplement I can take for that oh no I hate nobody nobody with pet dogs is literally horrible I feel you I'm alive because I have a cat yeah I know my two cats have kept me going they really have um, and it's not just dogs I like petting I like petting rabbits and guinea pigs but I'm horribly, horribly allergic to them like my face basically swells up um, and it's not pleasant, but I still want to pet them. It's like just load up on antihistamines and hope for the best. <laughs> Which is probably not what you should be doing. That was green. We are getting somewhere. Hey, hey. So, God, I think we might finish this today. Actually, I'm, I'm close to finishing it. Uh, new layer. Fabulous. Why do my layers always disappear when I do that? <laughs> Not using the smudge tool, we're using the paint brush. And we close the glass and move to red media and use Kyle's ultimate thick and thin brush. Right. Yeah. Pets are amazing. Like companion animals are so fantastic. Like, I absolutely love my two cats to bits, and like even though they are so annoying at times, I still love them. Even if James tries to kill me at the top of the stairs all the time because that's where he lies and he tries to trip you up. Oh my god. 
And he's absolutely massive. James is like a big furry bowling ball. He's a chonky boy. I don't think he's quite a oh lord he coming size, but he is a chonky boy. You'll have to excuse my line work. I have really shaky hands because of my fibromyalgia. Yeah, I just need to decide on a background colour. Do you like the pink? I was thinking about maybe changing it to green so it's more jungly. But I think the green can the the pink kind of contrasts a bit better with the kind of blues and stuff. I think the blues might get lost in a green. Oh no, it's a bit fat. Edit one, do that. That's a bit better, I think. Let's fix this line a wee bit. That's a bit better. Did someone say chunky boy? Hi Onion, did we summon you? Is that what it takes to summon you from your pit? <laughs> How long is it going to take you to prime your canvas? <laughs> chonky boy, bless his heart. I'm sure he'll be fine. It's just, you know, I wish we'd spotted the tumour sooner. But it's so hard because it's like right on the, the really baggy bit of his tummy, so it's really hard to find... gave up for a minute and drew the other person in the scene but now I'm back on the ground. Yeah there's loads of stuff on that shelf by the way good on you for for going for it. I'm really curious to see how it um, finishes. Um, if you're posting it up on Onion's Discord I'll see it because I check in the Discord a few times a day. Pop in see all the cool art that's going on there. Right, do we like the pink background? As I said, if a like green would be more apt for the jungle, but I really think the the leopard would get lost, like the blues and stuff would get lost in that. I think. I think. Yeah, cool. Um, layer, yeah. Layer. Splatter layer. Mm. 
Now, if any of you remember what my favourite splatter brush is, please tell me because I always forget. Splatter brushes. I think I might have remembered to put an asterisk next to it. Although I'm starting to realise putting the asterisk next to it doesn't actually make it that easier to see. And I wasn't smart enough to put I thought I'd put an asterisk next to them. I thought I'd remembered this time. Oofed. Right, okay, so I'll get rid of these just now. Because we don't need you just now. What we need is this. And. Nope. Not that one. Right, guys, gals and non-binary pals, please, when I find the one I want to use, please remind me to put an asterisk next to it. Never mind, this is it. Right, okay. No, I want to rename you. Rename brush. No, I want to put asterisk next to you. Got it. Right. Cool. Right. So I'm just reading through chat just now. I posted some of my art in the gallery if I use Discord. Cool. The pink looks more magical, like a pink forest and it's gorgeous. And I think a dark blue would also make the cattle pop as well. Just test them till you find the right one. But pink is very magical and cool too. Maybe the name is too long and you can't see the asterisk. Uh, maybe. Right. So I'm going to put in my splatters. And then I'm going to make the pink background invisible and do a dark blue. Right, cool. Got 10 minutes, friends. We can do this in 10 minutes. Uh, I don't know if I even know this. Needs to be bigger. Not that big. That big. Let's group all these together actually while we're at it. So I'm group. Jaguar. So under colours. And put I. And then we'll put booper. And then we'll put this. And then we'll put outline. That's better. Okay, so. This is a pink background. Pink background. And we will do blue background. Layer new. Layer new. Layer blue. Like a kind of midnight blue. Now, I definitely asterisk this, but always remember it because it's called Puddle Brush. There she is. 
Right, so we're going to go blue. What am I thinking? Like, really dark. I'm thinking more kind of purpley blue. I'm always prone to go purples because, like, purple is like my favourite colour. Right, what does this look like? Maybe if we go this way. Ooh, right, okay, so. Control there, control there. Ba, 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 ba. That brush is too big, you silly goose. brush a bit smaller. I feel a bit like a mad scientist now. Okay, that's too low. What the? God, it fair jumps in size. Oof. Don't need it that big. There we go. Maybe not this kind of blue. I don't think that's pretty good. Dark blue could also make cut pot just to taste until you find the one. Maybe the name is fun. It's such a hammer. No, not the hammer. The hammer? Bop. <laughs> Thinking about line arting this monstrosity I'm drawing. It's not a monstrosity, it's amazing. I don't know if I could mentally handle it. Do you have to get it finished this evening? Like, is it really important that you get it done this evening? Brush. What about that? Like, this is just a taste. I'm not sure if I'm vibing it. Um, is it too dark, maybe? See, this is going into like the purple kind of territory. Uh -uh. What if we go into like? Oh no, I don't think I like them. What do we think of that? I think I like the pink. 
and like saying, oh this brush is lovely, this is the puddle brush. Hold on, it's um, Kyle's Real Watercolour Puddle Brush. So it's one of the Kyle's brushes from Photoshop. I mean, I'm thinking of just doing line art, it's putting me into cardiac arrest. Because I have to do the bookshelf again. It's going to pay off though, it's going to look amazing. And it's going to look so good. Folks, I think I prefer the pink, if I'm honest with you, to blue. I just can't find a blue that looks good. But I might put some purple into it. gals, non-binary pals, I think I'm going to call it quits on this. I don't know if I've finished, finished it. I think I'm going to sleep on it and I'll see how I feel tomorrow. I think this area of the jaw, I think I need to make that dark so that it fits in with this bit of the jaw but uh, good be. I think I'll do that tomorrow but that's coming up for noon so I'm going to finish up for the day Coralia, it looks so magical, thank you very much Thank you very much. So for those of you that weren't here at the start of the stream or haven't seen my streams before, it's actually a kind of re-envisioning of this drawing I did a few years ago. Uh, sorry, the light keeps shining on it. So I'm kind of redoing this. So that's why I'm kind of going for like the purpley pink vibes. Um, yeah. And I'll be adding in this symbol as well. It'll probably have to be in the foreground. I think I put it in the foreground round about here. So, anyways, folks, I'm going to see if I can send you on to someone. Let's see who's streaming just now. I don't really know how to do this in Streamlabs. I bet there's a way to do it in Streamlabs, but I don't know how to do it, so we're doing it this way. Who do I know who's on just now? Cool. Right. So, I've never done a raid before, so this is um, oh my god, this is my first raid. I don't think I can raid anyone I don't follow. Oh no, how do you send a raid to someone who you don't follow? How do you do it? Or do you need to, does it need to be someone you follow in your raid? But I follow him, he's just not in my chat.
Oh, what the? There's an option in the channel edit. Oh god, mate, this is so confusing. Oh my god. Right, okay. <laughs> I'll worry about raids later. Right, I will learn how to do raids properly. Anyways, I'm going to head off and make some lunch. Uh, it's really cool to have met you all. Seven viewers are ready. Oh, hang on, there we go. Oh my god, did they? Oh no, they're still, oh, they're still going. Why is it not? Like, I'm looking at their stream just now. They're doing a killer whale. Oh my god, full circle. Right, okay, we'll figure out how that works. Manually, if you go to OzFiz, capital O-Z-F-I-Z, -Z, um, their stuff's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right, guys, thank you so much for your company today. It's been really cool. And I hope you all have, like, enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, onion pancake, go to bed. Um, yeah. I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>